Hi everybody, I'm Justin Caffrey. Today I want to talk about FOG. Fear, Obligation, Guilt. An acronym that somebody sent me, Sarah, a contributor to my site. And when the fog falls, we can't see in front of us. We can't see in front of us, nor can we really truly see ourselves. And as the fog lifts, we also feel better because now we've got full peripheral vision. Are there fears that are holding you back? Are there obligations that are not serving you? And do you feel guilty because of these obligations? So let's just pull a few of these things apart. For me, fear is an interesting one. When I think back to 2014, when I was starting to struggle with anxiety, I was starting to struggle with post-traumatic stress. And these were all because I hadn't stepped into dealing with the death of my son. I realized that I need to take responsibility and I did so in a very quick fashion. I was three months into feeling really low and I realized this was not how I wanted to live my life. I found somebody who was willing to help me and he said to me very quickly, you must rise to this challenge yourself. You need to step up and decide that you want to make the change. He said, I can help you to a point, but I can only help you if you're willing to help yourself. If you're willing to put the work in that I set you. And this is the reality of any illness that we have. We must put the work in ourselves. You know, if it's a physical ailment, you have to do the rehabilitation. If it's a mental ailment, you have to be willing to put the work in too. And that can just be simply breathing exercises, but you must step up and start to put that work in. And for me, fear was an all-consuming thing at this point. I was fearful of the future. I was fearful of things I did in the past. I was fearful of what was going to happen in the next few minutes. And that's because the mind becomes so busy. It becomes excessively busy. It's crazy what's going on in there. Voices and noises and concerns. You start to be fearful about the most ridiculous things. And a wise monk once said to me, you can only concern yourself with things that you can control. Everything else is for somebody else. I can't worry about potential wars in countries. I can't worry about potential issues in the stock market. I can't. But ultimately, I can't influence geopolitical issues. But the way that I learned to come to terms with the fears was to come to terms with the things that were driving the fears in the first place. What are the real issues that were debilitating me? What were the personal issues in my mind and in my history that I needed to come to terms with? which I did, and you can learn more about that on some other videos that I post. The obligations are then the interesting thing as well. When you're fearful, you're drawn into obligations a lot of times, and those obligations may be negative obligations. They may be things that other people have put upon you that they believe that you should be doing for them. We should not be drawn into obligations that do not serve us. We should not be doing things that do not make us feel well. If you are doing things for other people and it's directly impacting your health, you have to stop doing it because it's not sustainable. So think about obligations that are not serving you and step away from them. Also recognize the G in fog, guilt, because it is the guilt that will draw you back to those obligations. We feel guilty because we need to do things. But if that guilt is born out of others putting things upon you, then it's not necessarily real. You know, I can feel guilty when I consciously make a decision to do something negative to another or to shirk my responsibilities that are innate within me, like my responsibilities for being a father. By not stepping up and being a responsible father, that's a sense of guilt that my body sends signals throughout my whole being to say, hey, you're not being a good person here. And that's a good sense of guilt. That's the right sense of guilt. But if that guilt comes out of obligations that other people have put upon you and they say, well, if you don't do this for me, you know, you're not really being very fair. You're not really being very nice. That's a sense of guilt that's born out of an obligation that's being put upon you that is not serving you to make you the happiest version of you. And those obligations and that guilt will eat away at you. It will get deep inside your body and your soul and it will impact your health. So today, just think about the word fog. You know, where is the fog in my life? 
Can I lift this fog? Can I now make a conscious decision today that I will take control of whatever fog is pervading my being? Because I no longer want to be able to struggle and try and see the path forward through the fog. I want to be able to see clarity. I want to be able to see the path ahead. I want to be in control. So take control. Take control of your fog. Let the fog lift. Realize what it is that you're being fearful of. Deal with it and push through it. You'll find more information on my website, justincaffrey.com, or on my YouTube channel, also under Justin Caffrey. Thank you for taking the time today. I appreciate you joining me.